And on the opposite side of timeless truths and wisdom is utter foolishness. Now, if you know me, you know uh, I'm very measured and intentional with my choices. Not a lot of tomfoolery with me, not a lot of malarkey. Don't know why I'm talking like I was born in the 1930s. But, you know, I don't make a lot of bad choices or do anything silly. But there was one time I made a bad choice. And it relates to this item right here. And as soon as, soon as I reveal the item, you will probably start to see why this was a bad choice. So about 20 years back, my mom lived on five acres of land. And my brother came to town, saw the condition of the trees on the land, and thought he would show me how to take care of and prune the trees so that they would look properly with this delightful toy. He taught me how to play with a chainsaw. And play we did, and then he left town. But he also left me with a lust to play with the chainsaw. So for two days straight, all I did was run around with the chainsaw, go in Texas Chainsaw Massacre on all the trees, pruning them, chopping anything that I could, didn't sleep, living off Red Bull, and the joy that comes from playing with a chainsaw. But after two days, I had run out of branches on ground level. But then I remembered, trees go up and there's branches higher up, and they're even thicker and more delicious to cut through, and I owned a ladder. So I went and grabbed the ladder, placed it under a tree, saw an amazing-looking branch, climbed up the ladder with the beautiful chainsaw, thought about it like, all right, I've seen enough samurai movies. When you cut something, it drops straight down. So if I use the chainsaw, start chopping away at the branch, it'll drop straight down, and my ladder's right here, I will be totally fine. So grab Mr. Chainsaw, start going at it. Then I remembered, that's not how this works. Branches don't fall straight down, they swing. And as I had that thought, the branch began to swing. And it swings down, hits the ladder, ladder flies up in the air, chainsaw flies up in the air, branch flies up in the air, but gravity, however, threw me to the ground. On top of me lands the ladder, the branch, the chainsaw, and that's the story of how I died. <laughs> no, that's a joke. That's the story of how I lost these two fingers. They're good. This is another joke. Um, <laughs> as soon as I said chainsaw, everyone in the room goes, Oh, this idiot's going to do something stu real stupid. And then I say ladder. Everyone goes, oh, dear, what are you doing? As soon as I say branch falls straight down, everybody in the room knew, what are you doing? But the reality is, I also knew all of those things. If I had seen one of you do any of these things, even 20 years ago, when I was really dumb, I would have known... No, Joel, you shouldn't be playing on the ladder, swinging a chainsaw around. With that in mind, if you can grab my chainsaw. As a heads up, this sermon has so many props that I had to get a prop guy to help me out <laughs> with everything. So just be prepared for where this is. <laughs> That's how silly this is. But I knew better. I knew it. But in the moment, it just looked too much fun. <laughs> 